you can handle me. Right? No, you're not. Yeah. Listen, as a woman, I'm supposed to be natural. Because you're you want to. We gotta handle the world, and now we gotta come home and handle our wild woman, bro. Yeah, so why do you want to be by yourself? I mean, she ain't wrong, so y'all supposed to handle hell attitude. Yeah, but you're not wrong. Or whatever come with us. So, like she said, ever get right or get lost. Or, as you said, go be with somebody, a, another woman from another race. Because ain't no black woman being submissive to no man, no matter what race you is. Because ain't no black woman being submissive to no man, no matter what race you is. So, as ever, take me as I am, or be single and go. You get it. Simple. So she ain't wrong. She definitely right. She's ever handle me or not. The same way she wanna get on live and tell y'all everything I'm gonna tell y'all stuff too. I'm not taking This is the book of um This is the book of Genesis chapter um, 3. The point is um, 16. Start at verse 12. Genesis chapter 3 verse 12. And the man said, The woman whom thou gavest to be with me, she gave me of the tree, and I did eat. Verse 13. And the Lord, Yahweh, power, said unto the woman, What is this that thou hast done? And the woman said, The serpent beguiled me, and I did eat. Verse 14, And the Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahshai, power said unto the serpent, Because thou hast done this, thou art cursed above all cattle, above every beast of the field, and above every beast of the field, upon thy belly shalt thou go, and thus shalt thou eat all the days of thy life. Verse 15, And I will put enmity between thee and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed, it shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. Point is verse 16. Unto the woman, he said, I will greatly multiply thy sorrow and thy conception. In sorrow thou shalt bring forth children, and thy desire shall be to thy husband, and he shall rule over thee. I'm going to start off by giving all praises, all honor, and all glory to. Call loyal, my Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahushai, by Hashem. Double honors to the apostles and to the elders of Great Millstone who do rule well. Peace and salutations to the Akim across the four horns of the earth, wishing is truthful, good faith, and with sincerity, as well as risking their lives and their freedom to do so now more so than ever. Shalom to the Akwath and the Akim out there listening and learning. Lord, willingly, this is edifying. Shalom to the Israelite foreigners scattered abroad in the land of other nations, appearing like the other nations. We subscribe to this truth to you. I say Shalom. So, Brother Yahweh, stop out of the GMS Cleveland Church, a fellow servant, come into you with another lesson through the Spirit, through the Bible, Yahweh, watch him, y'all shot. And um, I was just, you know, happened to wake up pretty early in the morning and um, came across that um, short YouTube video. And, you know, just showing you, uh, <laughs> and it's going to get nothing but worse. Brother just brought that out on camping. You know, I know that through the Spirit. Like I said, and it's easier said than done, you know. You know, uh, but we all got to man up because, like I said, you know, and you really understand scriptures talk about uh, this is not our rest, so it's not supposed to be enjoyable, you know. I mean, the Lord give us enough to know that He deal with us, <laughs> but you gonna catch more hell than you gonna see good, good. And I just noticed that, you know, we all catching our own personal hell. Some may appear worse than others, but. Even if it's somebody in the camp with you that doesn't appear to catch hell or what, it's somebody that's always in the body that's catching a lot of hell. You know, I ain't going into too much detail, but I was just like I said, thinking about because you know that's gonna be the state of our women until this place is destroyed. You know, the Lord is gonna save a remnant of women. Yeah, we gonna make wives out of the other nations, or you know, what I mean, but you know. You're going to have elect men and women as well, you know, because uh, this is the state of our women. She 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 they, she was proud with it, like she wore that with a badge of honor. Um, scriptures talk about we supposed to have rule over them. Now, of course, we're in a fallen world. Um, of course, the serpent 
this red Hebrew Edomite, because, uh, I mean, I'm not going to go deep with this, but, you know, when you go into this, like, Christianity, um, they teach you that that was actually a, a snake that slithered, like, out of Harry Potter's <laughs> Slytherin, you know. No, it was a, a man with um, with that same spirit that, you know, this red Hebrew even Mike has today. You know, he get and basically told them her philosophy, you know what I mean, that fucked up Adam, you know what I'm saying? And just like back then, that's why you see that spirit of the female that can, you know, men have fallen off the truth over a woman, you know. And trust me, it's not a beautiful thing to lose somebody that you care for. You know, I was listening to the one brother that was talking about um, his his wife took the took the took the jab. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know, and it hurt him, but he was so strong with it. And that's why the elders make that statement. He said, "These are not really our women." You know, I had a woman leave me. And, you know, she wasn't. And but it's that's how I know it's spiritual when like. That curse don't kick in until you had a child with her, you know. Some brothers, you know, they, their, their portion, their lot is not to go through that. But, you know, I, I actually witnessed that firsthand, you know. Like they say, you, you take time, you put, you you invest in a woman. And then she talked about, you know, the elder, uh, but not exactly about from South Carolina. He say, this woman thought she was in the truth. She get the cover, try to cut him with the scripture. <laughs> You know, the elder is funny. He did that video, uh, it's true, go kick your ass. <laughs> that was a beautiful video. It was, it was funny, entertaining, but it was so true. Like, But, uh, you know, yeah, Salakia. So, we supposed to have a rule over our women, but, you know, uh, because of Satan, you know, and his physical counterpart, this white man coming with these philosophies. Because at the end of the day, if you don't have your woman... And she's not submissive to you. Who is she submissive to? When people conquer, people don't even understand how societies work. That's why they, when when, when most societies conquered another society, they basically killed all the men and went into their women. That's a reason for that. He <laughs> is it. I mean, and you see that to this day. Our women do not respect or, or appreciate, or you know, they don't for real. This man literally said, I got to battle the world. And, and and you'll have a dumbass nigga bitch that'll sit up there and say the plight that the black man, we're not black first and foremost, but, you know, so-called black people go through, especially the men, but then sit up there and be the biggest stumbling block or the biggest barrier to it. Because you, I mean, I literally go through this. I know Esau don't like me. The Lord allowed me to see that and call a lawyer for that because I could be like some of these dumbass niggas. <laughs> that I work with that just think that because they buy you something to give you some money that they like the fuck that don't mean anything after all this rape robbery and murder to keep shit moving smooth you got a lightweight you can't just be the big bully all the time but so lucky not to be bouncing all around the place because at the end of the day like you say that's the, the mindset of our women they think it's a badge of honor to be uh, you know uh, not a submissive, but this is what that gets you. So this, uh, I heard the elder mentioning um, how the so-called black woman is the least desired or the least dateable or the least desired to date woman out of all the nations. As much as a so-called black woman to talk about these Asian women and all these different women, and it, it's, it's spiritual because it's a spiritual, like, um, it's, it's a spirit of Jezebel in, in America. That's why you could have a woman that had certain customs, you know, like um, what's that one broad name? She uh from Barbados or something like that. She's a like I think I can't think of who it is. But long story short, she came over here and and basically they don't want her to even come back to where she's from because you know she been Americanized. I've seen this with my own eyes. And so you could have grew up with certain customs in another country and come over here and now you're all. You know, I remember growing up and I would watch Moab. If you couldn't find nothing open on certain holidays, you would always be able to see Moab open because of the fact, you know, they didn't give a fuck about Christmas. Now, you see Ishmael that don't you still be open at certain spots, but for the most part, Moab literally Americanized Ishmael's to a degree. 
And that's because of the, so the women come with that spirit of I'm an independent woman and I can suck and fuck and do, which actually is a shame upon, you know, to show you how crazy it is, that's how much this devil don't really turn the world upside down. A virgin is something supposed to be coveted or, 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 or sought after, something that nobody ever had. And America is the complete opposite. They reward a, a bitch for being promiscuous or a slut. A bitch could go suck a million things. A bitch could do a Kim Kardashian and be praised for it. She's a strong, independent woman. I cannot wait to this shit go down. Because we're going to see how many people ain't strong, though. The things that you got, like, the Lord could take away at any point. He just made everybody stay in the fucking house. <laughs> so it says, online dating statistics reveal that all of all races, black women are the least likely to be picked by any man and least likely to date outside her race. So that ain't my words. That's, um, you know, the scriptures. Oh. This woman literally made a statement. She said, um, we're not going to be submissive. Um, scriptures have multiple scriptures talking about being submissive. But um, she said, we, matter of fact, I'm going to get one right now. I thought I'd lift up. This is the book of um, 1 Corinthians chapter. Uh, what is this? 1 Corinthians. 11, I think. Which is weird. This is not showing me. I think it's 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 3. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Mashiach, and the head of the woman is the man. And the head of Mashiach is Yahweh Bashim Yahushah. Or Yahweh. So. The order is supposed to be is supposed to be the Most High God, then Yahweh Shah Mashiach, who you people ignorantly call Jesus Christ, then the man, then the woman, and then the woman, you know, is over the children. Because the Lord has certain things set up in a certain kind of order, you know, and anything that's outside of that is confusion, and brings disorder. You know, that's why the world is fucked up to the point that it is today. I got another one. This is the book of Colossians. It's a lot there. Colossians chapter 3, verse 18. It says, Wives, submit yourselves unto your own husbands as it is fit in the Lord. So that's another scripture talking about submitting. Because as the man, we supposed to submit to the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushua, because anything outside of that is matter of fact. I know where I put it at. It's in the other app. Because anything outside of that, you know, is considered witchcraft. This is the book of First Samuel, chapter fifteen, verse twenty-three. For rebellion is witchcraft, and stubbornness is as iniquity and idolatry. Because thou has rejected the word of the Lord Yahweh, by Hashem Yahushua, he hath also rejected thee from being king. Now this is, goes deeper because it's talking about when Saul was going off, he didn't follow and obey the words of Yahweh by Hashem Yahushua, so therefore he was stripped of his king, um, you know, being king. That's why scripture talks about it's better to obey than to um, sacrifice, you know. You supposed, you know, you supposed to submit, you know, and that's anything. And, 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 and you know, I learned that the hard way because, you know, what I mean, like we are taught that we can control our own destiny and we control our own fate. You know, like when you go into Darwinism, Charles Darwin, he was considered this fathers of what, you know, evolution and all this whole stupid ass shit. But when you go into, you know, actually like that was a theory that was actually like funded by, you know, these people that's in power, the Rothschilds, <laughs> they paid for a lot of his research. And then to show you how full of shit the guy was, he didn't even believe what he said. Because on his deathbed, he asked for a priest. So if you believe that you're just going to evolve and you don't believe in the most high God, then why did you seek one? See, that is what separates the men and the truth and the rest of the world. Well, not just the men, the, the you know, the believers in the truth. 
not just uh, from the rest of the world, because we have faith and believe in what we believe. And the scary part is, you know, that's why you got these people that like vocab and whatnot. They whole job is a setup to try to get us to disbelieve. They agents of, 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 of you know, they stumbling with boxing agents of, uh, you know, they set up by the most high on the left hand side because the most high don't want everybody. But if you let vocab say anything to you that <laughs> to get you like did that mean your faith was very, very small because vocab is a joke. I mean, when you sit and watch him, literally, like, he doesn't, like, really, like, combat the scriptures with scriptures. You get what I'm saying? He, like, an agent of chaos for real. But we're not about to spend too much time on vocab uh, Malone. Um, back to what I was speaking on the topic. When you go into, um, I got another one, matter of fact. I don't know why they're doing this. So um, it talks about submission. Um, then we're going to go on Ephesians. Oh, so lucky. Book of Ephesians, chapter 5, verse 21. It says. So to show you how we supposed to, everybody's supposed to be submitting, submitting yourselves one to another in the fear of Yahweh Bashim Yahusha. So brethren submitting one to another because it's an order, you know. When you go into um, the scriptures, the brother just showed me some, like why the elders put us, you know, you got bishops and captains and you got, you know, uh, officers and you got, you know, certain people put in position because when you go into, um, when Moses set men over men, and when you go into the book of Maccabees, when um, Judas Maccabeus uh, uh, set men over men, and he did that because Moses did it, because that was a, a that's actually a law. And it, uh, one, you know, one of the heads actually broke that down to me, and I'm like, that that's deep, you know. So submission is because uh, the Most High God doesn't want to deal with anything that's rebellious. Now the crazy part is the Lord actually. Put that rebellious spirit on you. <laughs> so the thing is, you really need to pray to, for deliverance from it, or the it could very well mean the Most High God don't like you because that can get you destroyed. Verse twenty-two: Wives, submit yourselves unto your own husbands as unto the Lord. That's again. That's the third time I done read. A woman is supposed to be submissive. So to show you how a nigga bitch don't know shit, cause that's a nigga bitch. That's not looking too fire to you on TV talking shit. You on camera talking shit, but you looking like a piece of shit. <laughs> I used to laugh at my David like that. She talking about people. I don't get me wrong. She not hideous, but at the same time, you're not as attractive as you believe. You was attracted to me. You know what I'm saying? Because I saw beyond at that moment, the physical, you know what I mean? When I was down, you was being something, you know what I mean? It touched my heart. But to show you how, like, I was like, damn, you very, you got a very black spirit. You know what I mean? Like, you a demon, you know? You talk about a motherfucker that got something, you ain't got shit, but then you got the nerd. And that's the mindset of most nigga bitches, for real. You put more energy to talk, you got the nerve to talk about somebody, but then you got women, well, you want to blame me for why the fuck you at where you at, but I didn't just rape you and force you to do shit. Yeah, you got women that sit up there that got a job, got kids, and got a man because they do it everything it takes to keep it, all them things. Motherfuckers just want things handed to them like that's how it's supposed to be. Like you got to fuck it. That's why a lot of people literally think that the Most High God is a genie. That's why a lot of people don't believe in the Most High God because they ask for shit and don't get what they want. The Lord is so wise, he might not give you some shit you think you want because you might not need that shit. It tells you in the scriptures that riches are not comely for a nigger. The word is put in there just like that. A nigger. Because a nigga kill himself with too much. A fiend, a crackhead, get a million dollars, they'll fucking smoke themselves to death. Why well, submit yourselves unto your own husbands as unto the Lord? Verse 23, for the husband is the head of the wife, even as Mashiach is the head of the church, and he is the savior of the body. Verse 24, therefore, as the church is subject unto Mashiach, so let the wives be their so let the wives be to their own husbands in, in everything. So 
as the body, the church, because uh, it tells you that uh, the tabernacle of the Most High is the men. The men, of the, uh, matter of fact, I could go get it. It's in the book of Revelation somewhere. It says, because you always got to constantly prove things through the scriptures. You know what I'm saying? That's how you prove. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 21. Verse three, and I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, behold, the tabernacle of Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahushua is with men and he will dwell with them and they shall be his people and Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahushua himself shall be with them and be their power. And that's not the only scripture. There's a couple of scriptures that talk about the congregation. That's why it's a believing man. That's why, you know, the priesthood. It wasn't a, uh, uh, you know, like some um, religions, they had the, like the priestess, of, oh no, the oracles of Delphi, you know what I mean? The women that was actually um, prophesying, but they was under trances, they was on drugs, it was, a, you know, that's way deeper than what people understand, you know? It was a priesthood, a royal priesthood of men, because the Most High dwells with the man, and the woman, uh, you know, if you got a woman who's lucky enough, she gets a, a, a man of the Lord, you know, a man is not treated in this fucked up ass society the way he's supposed to be treated back in the day a man was more praised than he is now you know a woman would pray to the lord for a man child because you know the thing is what 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 makes something more rare the lack of it is way more women than it is men so that's why they used to pray for a man child. You can only keep the race going through. I mean, it takes a man and a woman, but only a man could create another man. So that whole theory of women bring forth, you know, y'all incubators, the seed come from the man. And that's just all true. And people might get offended by it, but truth, I mean, uh, I forgot how that scripture goes. It talks about, uh, uh, ha, ha, uh, damn, Paul said it too. He said, uh, do do you hate me because I tell you the truth? <laughs> Something like that, roughly paraphrased. Well, you take a seed. Men have semen. So we but it's called semen. So, you know, a seed, you know, so, you know, to make anything like an a apple, orange, a, a, a shit, certain nuts, all of them come from seeds. Do you know that the word husbandry, when you say husband, when a woman was a little kid, she was like, I wanted a husband. Where do you think that come from? Go look it up. Husbandry goes into planting because a man plants his seed inside of a woman. But this proud ass nigga bitch sitting up here talking about some, oh yeah, well you just going, and that's why the fuck you probably ain't got nobody and can't figure it out. It ain't, it ain't the world. It ain't, it ain't no good man. It's you. <laughs> you know, I had to tell my David that recently. I say, this is funny. You sitting up here want to make it, you really convinced yourself it's me. But I'm not in, we met a certain kind of way and now I'm not in that situation anymore, but you are with our kids. So how the fuck is it me? So lock it for that. So, uh, as you can see, <laughs> you know, I think it's one of Proverbs as well. I think Proverbs chapter eight, and then it's another one. Uh, I got that one. So, um, I'm going to end it with this, First Peter. First Peter chapter 3, I'm going to start at verse 1. First Peter chapter 3, verse 1. Likewise, ye wives, be in subjection to your own husbands, that if any obey not the word, they also may without the word be won by the conversations of the wives. Point is, <laughs> be in subjection to your husband. You know, it tells you in the scriptures, um, in the book of Job, that um, the Lord deprived the woman of wisdom. That's why I'm going to give you a fun fact, and people are going to get offended by it, but it's going to be what it is. I mean, you know, it, 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 it's, um, scripture talks about, um, he said, um, curse be I if I don't preach the gospel. The gospel is not. You know, like what they sold y'all that the most high God love everybody and he want, you know, even the abomination. Like they'll tell you he loved because he created it. He loved a, he loved something, <laughs> you know, the, the, you know he, some of the things that the most high God, 
it, like it tells you about homosexuality in the scriptures. Homosexuality is not like it's frowned upon. You know, it actually scriptures talk about um, you're supposed to put that person to death. That's in the Bible. So they show you how we are in, really in a truly fallen world. You got uh, people pushing a doctrine. That's what a doctrine is. When you, if you, that show you how people don't really read the Bible. Because if you read the Bible as opposed to letting a person, that's why it tells you in the scripture study to show thyself approved. Because you know, what I mean, it talks about how, um, you know, um, basically, um, you know, you could be fooled. Or nobody wants to, you know. It tells you in, in, in the book of Proverbs that a king searches out a matter. This, you know, to, to to attain greatness, it don't just come easy. You know what I mean? People want to listen to some of these rappers. That's one thing I, I respect about Lil Wayne, Lil Weird Ass. He don't just sit there and just, like, he actually, he put time into his craft. Nicki Minaj will tell you that much. But, again, when I was speaking about um, a woman doesn't have wisdom, okay, a, was, a woman that go off of feelings and emotion. And you need that to a degree because sometimes men can be too stern and too austere. So, you know, to children need to be nurtured, for instance. That's a woman's position. That's what her talent is. And that's that, that's why a woman will try and nurture a grown-ass man <laughs> and be enabling him. But nonetheless, she'll try and nurture because they're naturally bred to nurture her. You have things that give. I mean, but you're, and if you can't understand that, then that means you rebellious and the Lord might kill you. And the crazy part is the Lord put that spirit on you. I mean, you know what I mean? Because maybe he didn't like you. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. <laughs> you know, I, I just know, you know, you know, I know the Lord wants everybody to submit. And, you know what I mean? I, I've seen the Lord work all kinds of miracles. I'm an example of that. So, you know, whatever you're struggling with, if you come to the Lord sincerely, he can remove it because it's all spiritual. But again, so a woman would go off emotion. She'll see a guy like when you get Romeo and Juliet. That's not a love story. They both died. <laughs> Don't you? See, that's how simple people are, though. Like the, the, the families didn't want them to be together, but they wanted to be together. So they end up killing each other to be or, or dying or like commit suicide to be with each other because they get couldn't have each other. They, you know, yeah, some dumb shit, emotional. A father gave away his child because of the fact a father knew best. A father know a mother man before a woman do. A father could see a man and say, oh, something ain't right about this nigga. And yet still come to find out after this woman been in love and had, I know somebody that went through this. Fucking with a dude, had a baby with the dude, come to find out the dude a fag. Flat out. I know somebody went through that. You know how stupid she got to look? <laughs> and then the thing is, that's all spiritual. Because, you know what I mean? Like, them spirits. You done had a child with this man? Right. My thing is, how is you doing that if you're not really into that? That's like uh, when you go into that movie, Stella Got Her Groove Back. She thought she was doing something because she had a young dude. Kind of find out he was a fan. <laughs> right. Anyhow, a father, that's why a father picked, because marriage is not just about fucking. I mean, the Bible talks about uh, be fruitful and multiply. So a household is supposed to bring a, 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 a man wealth. you just not having kids. Like, kids are supposed to be helpers because People had land and shit. It wasn't just about fucking and living in the projects and having 25 kids. You know what I mean? Like, no. So people might have had a whole bunch of land. So, you know what I mean? And, 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 and people don't even understand what kind of reward that is. Not to have to be, at, um, like, to have to wait on these. Like, people literally are waiting on another stimulus check. <laughs> Yeah, still, you got people getting robbed in motherfucking California talking about, like, going to your door. Come here. Following you home. Come here. Give me your whole plate. You know what I'm saying? All on the East Coast. So, you know, and this is all by design. Why do you think they would give you some money and then got some people that's getting these motherfucking, these, um, not them, them, them PUA loans and all that shit sitting on 20, 25,000. Ain't never seen 20,000, but got 25 and telling everybody. 
niggas running up in there. You know what I mean? Just, yeah. So, you know, they purposely, because they wanted to be chaotic. So they give them the excuse to go ahead and bring in, because it's called order out of chaos for a reason. They going to start the chaos to bring in the order they want. And that order is going to be due to, they can't use the regular police. The regular police literally have been quitting. Remember? And if you wasn't aware, now the county got the actual National Guards in it because they short-staffed. So once you start seeing shit like that, and then you seeing National Guards at these hospitals and shit because they short-staffed, pretty soon you're going to start seeing them up and down the street. They're just doing it slowly. And I guarantee you a stupid ass, weak ass nigga submit to them though. A nigga bitch that won't submit to know her man will submit to this white man when he got the, the motherfucking M16 in your fucking face. <laughs> uh. But the thing is this, we're all going to submit to Yahweh Bashim Yahshua when he's seeing our Lord and Savior Yahweh shout back. Because what the scriptures say, uh, she'll, uh, Said, shall there be fire on the earth if it be not kindled? Roughly paraphrased. He going to bring more fire. He coming with more destruction, more death. Because death and destruction coming. No matter how much you don't want to believe that. So I suggest the women of our nation to submit. Because the only thing that's going to protect you right now is a relationship with a man that has a relationship with Yahweh Ba'ashib Yahweh a man of the Lord. <laughs> So if you're so-called black, Hispanic, Native American, Seminole Indian, West Indian, or Haitian, I implore you to come back to the laws, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Or be destroyed. And, and, and before I end this, I want to say this. He doesn't necessarily like the Lord, because you got women that truly believe but don't have a man. But the Lord, that's why it's so important to literally like follow the spirit. And trust me, it's very difficult. But that's what makes a spiritual man and makes a, a carnal person. When you read the scriptures, all the prophets, like from Jeremiah to Ezekiel, like Ezekiel just laid on his bed. The Lord killed Ezekiel's wife and told him he cannot cry. And at that time, he also told him he was to be dumb. So when you go into the word dumb, it means you cannot speak. It doesn't mean you're stupid. Back in the, the actual understanding of the word dumb was you cannot speak. It tells you in the scriptures that he's going to shut up the mouths of his prophets. So, you know, at the end of the day, the Lord took the men through certain things. And the difference between them men and a lot of regular people is because of the fact that they literally... They submitted, you know what I'm saying? Like they just did it. They didn't try to buck up to it. The only one that I could think of that did was Jonah. He tried to run. He like, hell no. Because he he knew what, nobody wants to really be a prophet. You know what I'm saying? A prophet's life isn't easy. Prophets were austere, serious, stern men. That's why when Samuel used to go through the, to the towns, they asked him like, oh yeah, is there a problem? Is it an issue? You know what I mean? Right. Because because they understood at that time when a prophet was to come by, it was a, he was literally the mouthpiece of the Lord. Every, it's deep, and I ain't trying to transgress. What, I mean, you know, but not transgress. What I ain't trying to um, go off topic. But what I was saying was the Lord, literally, you know, you got women in the in the faith that truly believe but don't have a man. But the Lord may have it set up where you come across a man. You know what I mean? You know, women, again, they, they'll be looking at, oh, because he's so tall and handsome, but this nigga be a complete piece of shit. You get what I'm saying? But then the one that the Lord might have set up for you, you you, you want to say, oh, no, he don't look like this. And, you know what I mean? All that little stupid shit, and then come to find out, but this was the one. This, you will be going through half the shit you're going through if you would have just, you know what I'm saying? I mean, you'd be surprised, you know. That's why, I, like I said, arranged marriages, I ain't going to say they'd be the best, but... You, you know, at the end of the day, when you understand, like, that that make more sense because it benefited everything, you know. Like, it wasn't just, oh, I want to bust a nut. Oh, I want to, I want some, no. So, um, with that being said, I pray this lesson was edifying. I want to give all 
praises, all honor, and all glory to call Loyum La Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, double honors to the apostles and to the elders, a great millstone who do rule well. Peace and salutations to the Akim across the four corners of the earth, pushing his truth with faith and with sincerity, as well as risking their lives and their freedom to do so, now more so than ever. Shalom to the Akwa, to the Akim out there listening and learning. Lord, willingly, this is edifying. Shalom to the Israelite foreigners scattered abroad in the land of other nations, appearing like the other nations, and who subscribe to this truth. To you, I say Shalom. Until next time, I'm able to come with another lesson. Shalom, Shalom. Mawath Lababoa, Shalom.